Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Valagar Alavane here. Alright, so we're back for some more Therenal. We're back in the Western Runes here. So we've done the first part. We're now on to our second part here, which is Secure the Area. Uh, so as you can see with my level, we are only level 11. The quest on Elite and Reaper is level 12. The reason for this is due to the fact of the way that the quests are set up. Uh, the third excavation area we're not able to get into until we complete these and it does have a level 9 quest as I do want to bring you guys these quests at level I definitely want to make sure I don't exceed whatever that level limit is so here we are one level lower going up and down the excavation walls it sounds like creatures from the deeper tunnels have overrun the upper level all right, so just like our other video, we do want to make our way a little bit deeper in, kind of where we were before. Along the way, we will see a lot of these flesh renders, which we do need to kill. Uh, we actually need to kill a total of 35 of them. Um, as well, there's also a boss ice flenser. Now, I want to point out, as many people don't realize while they're going through this, you're actually going to run into the Ice Flenser before you get to all of the 35 renders. So don't feel bad if you get to that point and you're still missing a few. Uh, because, well, there's still simply more to kill at that point. Now, I want to point out that through these doors here, like the, the Rest Shrine, there won't be any renders hiding there. Or any of the flensers there either uh, they will most likely be like down these tunnels here so if you do take a look so we looking here we see the, the spiders nothing else there we're looking down here we see some earth elementals as well as some glass spiders which let's take that out we also have some side paths there as well um, but it is just good to just poke your head around, see if it's anything down there. If there's nothing down there, ignore that path and move on. But definitely make sure that you do look down all these passes. Again, there are 35 of them. And if you miss any one of them, uh, you will have to head back. So as you see, the tunnel, it does curve around the corner. Uh, though we did kill the two that were here. One came at us before, then there was one here. Um, it's still good to check on the off chance that maybe you weren't counting correctly or whatever the case may be. Um, just to avoid, you know, having to run all the way back. As they say, it's better to check twice and cut once than to have to do the whole thing over so as well there's also just a lot just right on the main path so just like the first part here you do want to take the, the very similar path heading all the way down And to where the, the dwarves were here. Now, for this one here, we will need to head off on the, the right side once we get past this room.
so this is the path here so we do actually need to head this way and as you can see the door is open heading that path um, we do however first need to head left to again where the dwarves were as there is a render down here There are a couple of them. So you definitely want to make sure to check all these paths here as well. We also have our random loot chest that we've had in the other ones. Now, this one here, if I remember correctly, there actually is also one down here as well, which I do not remember correctly. Alright, so yeah, that was the way that you'd normally go to get into that last room with the, the staircases. Um, and in the, the previous quest, they did have one in there. I just forgot if there was another one in there. Alright, so now that we've cleared this side, it's time to go deeper in the quest itself. Alright, and as you can see, the quest experience isn't uh, terrible, so grabbing these breakables, I mean, as you're running past, not too bad of an idea, but it's definitely not a go out of your way considering the large number of them. Alright. Once we reach this room, not only do we have a bunch of methods, we also have a couple of renders. And in the northern corners, there are a couple of platforms which will have some gargoyles on them. There we go. On top of that, we also have to the, the south here, the south uh, western corner, we have a locked door. Now this door is 100% optional. Um, inside of it are just some more methods, as well as some breakables, and I do believe a loot chest. So just let me check, yeah, there it is right there. and. As you can see from some of the, the broken silhouettes there. A couple of breakables, nothing too major. Alright. Now in the other one here, the other co southern corner, so the southeastern, uh, we can interact with this door. Open it up. Again, we have a render inside. Um, this room, however, though it has a couple of breakables, the most important thing is at the top, we actually have a lever. And as you can see, blue chest. But the important thing is the rune lever there. Once pulled, it will open up the door here for us to continue deeper in. Which again is a obviously a requirement as we need to pull the lever to progress. door again so this room here actually where that chest is is that flight that ice flenser so as you can see we still have 12 left to kill we are a decent ways away even with the it, the enemies in this room we are still nowhere near it. So that's what I would, was meaning earlier when I said you're going to kill him before you kill the rest. Alright, so from here, 
we have a ladder heading back up and a path heading off to our left or right from where we came in but it's left where we're at now and uh it goes around to a door and a lever so the lever again we need to make sure we pull this lever as that'll let us go deeper in and through the door here we just have ourselves a nice set of shrines okay all right so here we are Heading back to the main chamber, so with that lever that we pulled, it will again open up another door. Ouch. Straight across here. For us. So yeah, like as you can see, you know, you had to run past that ice flenser to even pull the lever. To get to the point where you can even fight these guys and man were we getting some lag So yeah, definitely be careful not to step on that jet, uh, as you can see with the ice, or not the ice flancer, the uh, the render there who had stepped on it. Definitely sets off that flame jet trap. Um, in here we do need to head to the south to pull this lever. I'm just gonna quickly pull our hireling to give us a quick top up on hit points here. head to the north which I was pretty sure actually had a lever okay apparently it doesn't so yeah it's just the uh, the south that you needed to pull the lever and then we're gonna head further west here now inside of this room we have a few gargoyles the northern wall which has a shrine as you can hear there's a rune here which will uh, you can pull to open that up you can feel your shrine loot chest all right so yeah it was just that lever to the south which activated that rune uh, which would be for our northern door here in this room So there's not much to do but head deeper in and now this section here um, as you see there are a few of the the renders there's also if I can see it here which I cannot um, so I'm gonna kill them here if you have really good stealth um, rather than fighting the last five of these renders, which are all in this room here, if you were to able to sneak around to the side and pull this lever, it will activate a spinning blade trap, which would cause them to...
kill themselves, sir, as it did with that one there. But again, it is difficult to do, and you do need to employ a lot of stealth. Alright, so there you see, I've got uh, just over, well, here it says 10k on our XP sheet. we got gotten just over 12,000. Um, the end chest in this area here, um, it is actually quite unique. So, upon looting the chest, you will get only a Therenal Ceremonial Blade. Now, I am going to loot that. And this actually bestows an extra optional, um, which I'm going to do right away um, because it is kind of tied to this quest. So this optional actually isn't located in this quest at all, and you can go ahead and recall out. Uh, as well, you want to make sure that you turn in. Oh. So when you talk to them, you want to make 100% sure that you do not repeat the Western Excavation, like I almost did there. So we're going to pick up our option, and we're going to close their window. Now, the reason you want to make sure that you do not repeat this is, by repeating this uh, with one of the other guys here, which should be over towards the library here, Saldanic. Once you complete both the, the, essentially the Eastern and the Western dig sites, and then you talk to Sal again, he will give you access to go to the Southern runes. If at any point before you talk to him, allowing you to go to the Southern runes and you go to repeat either the Western or the Eastern side, you will have to go back and re-complete that side before they let you in. All right, so from this point here, if you exit their area, I'm just gonna hop on the horse and go a little bit quicker, making a left and kind of hug the side here. running all the way to the far, far end. I just hope I'm, I am running to the right spot. Well, I ran to this quest. It's not the one I wanted. All right. Okay, so maybe it wasn't left right out of the door. Ah, uh, here we go. Sorry about that. So out of the door, you want to actually head right and head all the way far north here. Um, it's not a very large area, so if you do happen to make the mistake and go the wrong direction like I had, um, it's not that big of a deal. Again, you can either choose to run past or kill. There are a few enemies, but they're honestly not overly difficult. Once you reach the very, very end, which as you can see is a long way, uh, you will come into basically a giant area here. Uh, once you do reach here, I definitely recommend if you have anybody following you to just make sure they're not following anymore. Um, so we are dropping alert there. Awesome. So it doesn't look like we have any more followers. Just have to wait a little bit longer for that alert to go down. What we can do here at this altar, we can actually place that ceremonial blade on the altar, at which point we can then select. I am ready, and it starts a an arena challenge. Um, this challenge is a few waves. After each everyone in one wave dies, it does immediately spawn the next wave, which is actually kind of nice. Alright, 
So there we go. Now, once you've killed everybody, it does award you with a little bit of XP, but we can then go back to our altar, select it, and select again. I am ready. Now, this asks you again to complete the next challenge. Which again, just same as before. A few enemies. Another one. The altar beckons. And then lastly, one last one here. The Grandmaster's Challenge. And again, same thing. I like how it does give you like a small respite between each one. Oh, I love the boulder setter pumpkin during this event there we go so now that we've done all three of them it actually gives us an option between the war blade and a war dagger now the war blade is a long sword and then we have a dagger version of that so I am going to actually select the long sword here also gives you a random quest reward but now if we go into our inventory we have this here which honestly for a level 8 weapon it's not terrible it has two augment slots a nice damage modifier to it 1.5 base weapon modifier and it is a plus 5 weapon so I mean for level 8 you can't really go too too bad with that um, and like I said it does give a little extra XP for completing the challenges and it's essentially your your end reward for that last quest that we just completed but anyway guys I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video and uh, in the next one we'll hit up some more quests and see what kind of trouble we can get into anyway thank you guys so much for joining and I will see you guys later have a good one all